Hi, this is Jeff Challen. So for the final screencast for MP6, I'm going to walk you through how this solution set works to give you a sense of the features of the app that you can unlock once you understand how to process the results from the API call. I'm also going to show you a couple of different strategies for getting pictures into your system because that's one of the things you're going to want to do for testing. So when you test, you want to you know, not have to repeat the process of bringing images in. And so when you launch the app, it's going to ask for permission to use uh, your external storage. And we suggest that you provide that permission because it will make it faster to, to repeat the analysis of the same pictures. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to look up, uh, find, so one way to do it is to find a URL. So let's look at, you know, some of some of the ones you're going to find are not going to be great. So let's look at this little guy. Um, this looks like an image that we can try. So note that you can cut and paste into the emulator. So I'm going to take a URL from outside the emulator and then I'm going to open up the download file, long press into it, and voila. So now I have this picture that's been loaded into it, into my uh, app, and you'll notice that it's also been saved onto my computer or onto the smartphone, the smartphone emulator. So I can choose that image again and I can process it again. I can rotate the image around. Um, and let's see what happens when I process this using the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. Check that out. Okay, so three things happened here. There was a caption drawn, a brown and white dog looking at the camera. I have some information about the photo that's displayed as part of the UI, and there's a little icon that appears here. Okay, so that's great. Let me show you another cool way to get photos into the emulator. So I can actually drag and drop things directly from my computer into the emulator, and what that's going to do is that's going to copy the file over to the emulator. Where does it end up? Um, well, let's see here. It ends up in this downloads directory. So here's the cat that I just added. I'm gonna add my cat to my app, process it using the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. You'll see the caption is shown, the information is updated, and there's this little cat icon. It's hard to identify that as a cat, but that's what this looks like. So, um, And then every time this happens, there's this information that was returned by the API that you can view. Okay, so, you know, the dog icon, the cat icon, this caption, this information, those are some of the things that you're responsible for building into your image recognition system. But let's go for the big grand finale here. So uh, Rick Astley, where do we find a picture of Rick Astley? So it turns out one of the interesting things that I discovered as I was developing this MP is that Microsoft does not know how to properly classify the most iconic image of Rick Astley, which is of course this one from that terrible uh, slash wonderful um, video, but it does know how to, to, to properly classify the other one. So let's try this guy. Um, sorry, that's his, from his Twitter account. Um, I'm going to click open image in new tab. I'm going to take this, you know, very fetching image of Rick Astley, and I'm going to stick it into the open file dialog box here, download it. And there he is. Okay. So let's upload this to the API and you'll see that my app has decided to launch and expose me to, um, well, I'm seeing an ad, which is a little, a little depressing. Let's skip the ad. Uh, here it comes. Yes, we've been rolled. So this is uh, how your application can work once you're done. Um, and good luck getting there.